Bitches love sports. <laughs> bold. It's bold. Now, <laughs> were you concerned with putting the word bitch in the title? Now, because advertisers might be like, mm, I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's been a big issue. Like, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. It's stupid. Like, podcasting is the internet. There is no FCC on the internet as much as they're trying, but there isn't. So, like, yeah. it's bold. How Where'd the name come from? Tell me about it. Well, we were going to go with another name at first, but then I learned that there was another sports program that had that name. And even though that program doesn't still make content, um, I just didn't want there to be any confusion. Mm. And so we had kind of already decided on a day to start recording. With no name. No. We didn't have a name. <laughs> And so I, I, I'm actually a big fan of those uh, memes about bitches. <laughs> like, I don't know if you've seen them, but one of them, one of my favorite ones is like, uh, get that bitch a plunger. Bitches love bringing up old shit, like stuff like that. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> um, and so it's like, there are all these memes that's like, you know, get this bitch blank, 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 because bitches love blank. Yeah, and yeah. so that's kind of where the name from all came from. Bitches, I was like, bitches, bitches love sports. sports. I was like, what yeah. do y'all think? And they liked it. Yeah. And I knew it might be an issue with advertisers and it, it has been not only with trying to get advertisers for the show, but also with us trying to promote the show on social media. We've had our Facebook ad account shut down. Um, we have two Instagram accounts for that reason, because Instagram would not let, um, we have one account that's bitches love sports with the number one in place of the I. Yeah. Um, and we ran one ad from that platform and then Instagram was like, no more. Nope. <laughs> and so now we have a second one that's uh, the BL sports podcast. So we have to censor everything and we can run ads from there. Um, TikTok recently, like after I ran like uh, six promoted posts yeah. on the sixth one, they were like, oh, the link that you put on this one leads to content that contains profanity. So <laughs> and I'm just like, on TikTok. Okay. And then I've even noticed like interaction with some people on Twitter. Like there are some people who, um, when they reply to us, like uh, there's this one guy on Twitter who like, he'll say good morning, right? Um, and if you reply, he'll say good morning and say your name. And like with us, he was like, good morning, BLS. Like he wouldn't say good morning, bitches. That was all I wanted was for him to say good morning, bitches. So, you know, when he did that, I was like, I was like, I wonder how many people like hesitate to retweet us because our name is Bitches Love Sports. Uh, we did get a retweet from Demario Davis once though. That was pretty cool. That was right. exciting. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, you know, all, all the Twitter warriors want to show their virtue by not saying bitch in a whatever it is yeah. that, yeah. I, that, I, that, I, did, I, I posted the 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 podcast like I, i'm in a facebook group that is also about another podcast that is also about sports and i i posted you know try to promote our podcast and one of it was also a woman and she was not happy with the name and she was yeah. like well i think it's great that you're talking about sports but i don't think the name is great and i said that's that's your opinion that's totally fine like that's yeah. that's cool you don't have to listen to it and you go but, shut up bitch <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the thing is, like the admin had to delete some comments because people were getting at her for getting at me for the name of the podcast yeah the whole ordeal, but it's, it's yeah. seen that for as many people who say you shouldn't have that as your name, it's gonna be more people go, Yeah, fuck yeah, I have that name, it's a great yeah. name. I, <laughs> right. I saw that, it's like, Oh, that's bold, <laughs> that's bold. That's like, Okay, I'll, I you email me, I want to be on the show. It's like, oh, I have to check it out. It made, it made me go, Ooh, and that's like, that's like one of my um, like my my qualifications for coming on this show or any of my podcasts. It's like, if, if I if I see a podcast and I go, Ooh, you're on, that's just how it is. <laughs> that means I'm automatically interested. So how do you how did you choose which sports you want to cover? Obviously, well, a derby, you that's something you play. Uh, football and basketball. Now, do you do you how, why why those sports in particular? I know you you want to structure it for like an hour show or a forty five minute show, et cetera, et cetera. But why those sports specifically? Um, those are just the ones that we happen to get the most excited about talking about, honestly. When we first started the show, our podcast is relatively young. We started, yeah. what, in August, July? July, July. Yeah, our first episode mm -hmm. came out mid-July. And the first things that we talked about were the playoffs going on. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we're big fans of Devin Booker and Giannis Antetokounmpo. I'm like, if you don't say it. <laughs> <laughs> and so that, 
that was pretty much the basis of our first episode that and I think we ended up talking about a couple of other things that were going on in tennis we did maybe. yeah and then the Olympics we covered the yeah, Olympics and, a lot yeah the too. Olympics started shortly after our podcast started yeah and so football and basketball just ended up what we were the most excited about those are the sports where we have the most players that we're fans of yeah. and so that's why we didn't cover the World Series as much normally I would have at least mentioned it in a shout out or call out but I just so happened to have a hectic couple of weeks when that was wrapping up and it just, it didn't make it my bad. Like the last <laughs> episode right. we recorded, I didn't even have any notes for it. So I, <laughs> stick, stick to your, stick to your niche. Stick to exactly. your niche. Sports, <laughs> sports is too broad to cover everything unless you just oh, read, yeah. unless you just read headlines. So, and, 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 right. and it's on a 24 hour news cycle now. Exactly. Like there are some times when we're recording and I'll be like, hold up, let me Google this just to make sure there weren't any new developments today. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> And it's like, you know, there's so many players in both leagues that like one player does something and it's like, it takes about five minutes on the podcast. So mm -hmm. it's it's a lot. So those two, yeah, like she said, it's like the things that we get more excited about. So, so how do you, how do you structure your show? Take me through the process of, okay, here's what we're going to start with and here's what we're going to end with. Like how much time you plan doing anything, the actual structure. So the the format is usually we start off with shout outs and call outs. And so those are the things that we want to mention, but that don't we don't think that we're going to have a lot to say or we don't want to go in a lot of detail about. Right. And sometimes we say it's going to be short and it's not. Um, <laughs> it depends on the topic. <laughs> yeah, it depends. So like, for example, when we were discussing the International Handball Federation, <laughs> I thought that was going to be a short discussion, you know, because it was going to be like, oh, you know, they made it so women don't have to wear bikini bottoms. But the underlying details of the way they changed the rules led it's to a much so deeper discussion <laughs> yeah. that changed what I thought would be a five minute conversation to what, yeah. like 20 minutes? Yeah, at least. Yeah. yeah. We ended up talking about like women and standards of beauty and sports and men being gatekeepers for like 25 minutes. And it's like, OK, yeah. but that's what shout outs and call outs is supposed to be just like these like quick little tips, like here's some stuff that's going on in the world of sports, you know, yeah. boom, 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 real quick. Um, so anything that's not our favorite team or favorite player goes in there and we like to keep it around 30 minutes, but it's gone longer. Um, and then after that is when we start talking about our favorite teams and favorite players and we just kind of dive into that and we'll usually cover both um, actual analysis of the game along yeah. with um, anything that's happened off the field or anything that doesn't directly relate to the game that we just feel is interesting. So like with uh, the Oklahoma Sooners, the first time we talked about them, we were talking about the Red River Showdown and them playing against UT. But then we ended up talking about Caleb Williams and just how interesting it is to have a true freshman step into that role as a starting quarterback mm -hmm. and just what that must feel like. And we ended up like kind of relating in that to our own experiences um, on competitive teams. Yeah. So stuff like that. Man, I still think Bitches Love Sports is a very bold name for a podcast, but hey, power to them. You learned a little bit about why they call a podcast that and a little bit of show structure. Hope you learned something in this clip. Uh, if you did, give it a like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Check out the Bitch Love Sports Podcast because they are an APS partner on the biggest podcast solutions dot com and find more information there on what we do here at the Biggest Podcast Solutions. Till next time, I'm Will Tarashuk. Bye bye.